Today, we're talking about someone who's as strategic as he is quiet, a person who operates with precision because he views his image as a business. Who could that be? Jay-Z, stay tuned as we dive deep into the archives to uncover clues that even the likes of 50 Cent have hinted at over the years, though few have noticed. I was able to pick this up. The, he, the image itself after a gay painter. Okay. Big homie wanted to look like a, a gay painter. What are we talking about here? We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. One of Jay-Z's most iconic quotes in the business world is, I'm not a businessman, I'm the businessman. This statement highlights that Jay-Z views himself as the product, the brand, and the business itself. To protect and expand this business, he's been known to go to great lengths, and recent rumors seem to support this notion. Over the years, whispers have surfaced suggesting that Jay-Z saw DMX as serious competition. DMX has even hinted that Jay-Z's calculated moves included stepping back to claim a leadership role at their record label, allowing him to control the landscape while keeping DMX's influence in check. Allegedly, after DMX left the label, Jay-Z returned to rapping, with an image shift that involved business suits and ghostwriters, taking full control over his brand and creative publishing rights. Many have compared these tactics to those of Diddy, though some believe Jay-Z might be even more calculated. You know, you know, then get me off the label. Now you're back rapping. Okay. That's, I mean, it's all good. Following P. Diddy's recent arrest on serious charges, including sex trafficking, gun violence, and sexual abuse, Hollywood has gone eerily silent. Celebrities like Usher have deleted tweets linked to him and several executives within Diddy's companies have quietly resigned. But one celebrity isn't staying quiet, 50 Cent. He's been vocal since the news broke, even teasing a documentary he's been making on Diddy for over a decade. Interestingly, 50 Cent has also implicated Jay-Z, hinting that he might be tied to these alleged incidents. In one Instagram post, 50 Cent suggested that Jay-Z will lay low until the accusations against Diddy blow over, as he usually does. He even claimed that Jay-Z skipped the Rock Nation brunch to avoid any association with Diddy's controversial gatherings. In another post, 50 Cent shared a humorous picture of a milk carton labeled Missing, joking that no one has seen Jay-Z with the caption, Anybody seen Jay? Below, Puff said he ain't answering his phone. In a now-deleted post, he also shared an image of Jay-Z reportedly leaving the country, possibly suggesting that he's distancing himself amid the growing scrutiny. I've been vocal about this long before it actually... Oh, you've been saying this for, for a long time now. And then no one was, you know, they're just, why is he saying this? And now it's coming out like crazy. I mean, but I also out. didn't participate. I also didn't go to those parts. Yeah. So a lot of the celebrity culture that you don't hear saying anything is because they participated to it. But what, so what's, was, was there a reason you never went to those parties back in the day? I, obviously, I know what was going on there, but is there a reason you never did? I'm just not with all that freaky shit. Like, yeah. all of the stuff that he's doing, I'm not into that type of stuff. I'm just a little more, maybe you could say basic or normal. It's worth noting that 50 Cent and Jay-Z's feud dates back to 1999. It all began when 50 Cent released his single, How to Rob, where he rapped about hypothetically robbing big-name artists. That same year, at a Summer Jam event, the two crossed paths, and Jay-Z told 50 Cent he'd respond. Jay-Z then went on stage and delivered the now iconic line, I'm about a dollar, who the asterisk 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 is 50 Cent. Surprisingly, this thrilled 50 Cent, as it confirmed his song had caught Jay-Z's attention. He quickly recorded a reply, fueling the rivalry further. Later, 50 Cent rose to massive fame with hits like In the Club and Asterisk Get Rich or Die Trying Asterisk, cementing his place in the industry. By then, everyone knew how Jay-Z operated. He kept his competition close. Jay-Z even invited 50 Cent on his Rock the Mic tour, but for reasons unknown, 50 Cent didn't join. Jay-Z ultimately used the tour to announce his retirement from music, another well-calculated move. 50 Cent has also hinted at Jay-Z's behind-the-scenes influence, 
especially regarding award shows like the Grammys. He's pointed out what he sees as questionable decisions, like Beyonce's daughter Blue Ivy receiving a Grammy, which to him undermines the award's credibility. Through these comments and controversies, 50 Cent continues to be vocal about his rivalry with Jay-Z and what he sees as Jay's control over the industry. I'm banned, remember? I didn't know. Yeah, I, 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 apparently I was banned for a little while, wasn't it? Oh, like, after the thing, after the... Oh, so leave me banned, ladies and gentlemen. What? Leave me banned, I'm fine where I'm at now. I'm fine where I'm at, don't unban me because no one's there to get. What's Jay's coming to summer gym? Would, I'm sorry? When's Jay-Z coming to Jay-Z coming back? It's been a long time. When's Jay-Z coming back anywhere? We waiting for him to come a lot of places. I want him to come on the show. No Jay-Z. brunch, no lunch, no dinner. No brunch, no lunch, no dinner. It's hot out here. Man. It's hot out here. Real question, real question. How do you think... <laughs> he said it's hot out here. You ain't gonna see Jay-Z nowhere. 50 funny, man. Let's hear what else he got to say about Diddy and all this whole situation. Hollywood thinks about 50 Cent. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. How did I not know? You know like, look, How did I know that was? I, I, I could have written that answer for you. You're right. You're I think right. they're really surprised at the the momentum. Uh, you know, like because with one project, it, it it was able to grow into multiple projects. And if it was up to me, it would have been a lot more. Oh, as stars, you mean? Yeah, yeah. But they wanted it to be a little different. Sometimes they don't like who they're becoming. And they kind of fight that, so they spend money with you. Well, they comments. didn't want to. The well, because I'm going to tell you, right, yeah. you were becoming the face because your stuff was yes. becoming yes. 1,000%. Yes. And right. they were like, we have to diversify our portfolio because this is basically we the 50 Cent channel. channel. Right. And they even struggled in other areas. Like, they was trying to create another version of what's going on there, like by, uh, like Joe, Joe's show, the talk show. That is, is I would have did that too, like, it was in a different way because it's, it's obviously growing, right? But the, um, that was a puffy production. Mm. So it was brought to, like the guys at, 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 at Star Wars, CEO of Star Wars is Jeff Hurts right now. How does- Another voice questioning Jay-Z's behavior is the rapper Smart, who has drawn attention to Jay-Z's frequent use of certain hand signs. Smart argues that since Jay-Z isn't affiliated with any gang, these signs could carry a deeper, more mysterious significance. He's hinted that they might point to something darker, urging fans to take a closer look at the symbolism in Jay-Z's public image. Jay-Z, mm. you know, did, when he had issues with Jay, and I got a phone call from him, he was in Amsterdam when he called me back in the States, and I told him, I said, just sit tight, let me see exactly what it's about. You know, I'll get in contact with Jay and see how, yeah. you know, really what it is. And uh, before I could get back to him, he went on stage and told everybody to suck him off. Rumors are swirling that Beyonce and Jay-Z might be heading for a separation. According to sources, they have reportedly been living apart even before the recent allegations against Diddy came to light. While there's no official confirmation, these whispers suggest there may have been distance between the two for some time. Association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, what, well, yeah, 16, 17 grams since he's been with Beyonce, right? And, and you go, Prior to that, one. Right. You see what I'm saying? So that came in association. Like, like you see, the, the kids even have Grammys. Like, they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys and shit. So it's like they give this, give them this trophy so, so we secure that they're coming. Mm. To the- For Beyonce, distancing herself from Jay Z could be a strategic move to safeguard her brand and reputation. If the rumors of a separation are true, it may reflect a conscious effort to avoid any fallout from her husband's controversies. Some have long speculated that their marriage might be more about business than love, a partnership rooted in mutual benefit and public image. These developments are also bringing renewed attention to stories about Jay-Z's past, particularly accounts of a more turbulent and sometimes violent side to his history. Let's delve into what we know and examine how these elements might be influencing the present narrative. When you see this, when you see this, when you see this, when you see the checkerboards on the floor, when you see the skull and bones, when you see the signs and symbolism, when you slow down the music, Jay-Z new video with Nas and DJ Khaled, it's a scene where it's checkerboards. This is, these are all occult Satanist symbolic symbols. So, so, so what I'm saying is, is, 
And I'm going to tell you why. I don't, and me personally, I've been in music for a minute, had deals and all that, bro. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But what I, what I know, for me, I study so I know when I see it, so I know what to avoid. Because niggas will be trying to sacrifice your ass, and you don't even, you're not studying. God told us to read and be knowledgeable. So when I see Jay-Z, what does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? You're not no gang member. You got checkerboard floors in your shit. You got skull and bones. You, what does this mean? Because it, it, what it, it's not. One incident that's resurfacing amidst the current rumors is the 1999 stabbing of record producer Lance on Rivera, for which Jay-Z was allegedly involved. The altercation reportedly stemmed from suspicions that Rivera had leaked Jay-Z's third studio album, Asterisk Fall. Three, life and times of S. Carter Asterisk before its release. This led to a confrontation at a nightclub where Rivera was stabbed, and Jay-Z later faced charges related to the incident. He ultimately accepted a plea deal and avoided jail time, but the episode highlighted a darker chapter in his past. As more people scrutinize Jay-Z's history, incidents like these are drawing renewed attention, casting a complex light on both his past actions and his carefully curated image today. Is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they living separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z can, you know, he can pay off or he can block. In court, Jay-Z ultimately admitted to stabbing Lance Rivera, though the circumstances surrounding the incident were complex. After turning himself in, he was released on a $50,000 bail within a few hours. At a press conference, his lawyers painted Jay-Z as a gentle person unlikely to be involved in such violence, stating, to think that this guy, who is as gentle as can be, has anything to do with this is crazy. Despite the legal outcome and his lawyer's defense, the incident remains one of the more controversial moments in Jay-Z's history and continues to resurface as people re-examine his past. Turned himself in tonight and the cops started working on his rap sheet, accusing him of, of a stabbing at a trendy party. Kimberly Richardson is at Midtown South right now. Kimberly. Well, Rosanna, just a few hours ago, police here at Midtown South arrested Sean Carter, better known as Jay-Z. The rap star voluntarily turned himself in here at the precinct earlier this evening. Now, Carter is being held here in connection with that stabbing fight that erupted at the Kit Kat Club last